Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. Tell me about this connection. Well, chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction. Okay, what else can you tell me about this connection? What's going on in this connection? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Interesting. All right, Capricorn, so there is a strong magnetic attraction, some sort of pull that you have with this other person. But for some reason, there's something that needs to be released here. I don't know if this is both of you needing to free yourselves, one of you needing to free yourselves. Maybe you want to free yourself of this other person. For Capricorn spirit. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Tell me about this connection. Let's see, what do we need to know about this connection between you and this other? Oh my gosh, I swear. <laughs> I keep getting the Seven of Wands reverse in like almost all of the reasons readings that I do. Three of Pentacles. Wow, and then we got a King of Cups. <sighs> Seven of Wands reverse and then the Nine of Wands is another common theme is the nine of wands the seven of wands the nine of wands is all about being exhausted being put through the ringer going through all sorts of like terrible or challenging situations and you know hobbling your way to this one place that you can protect yourself defend yourself guard your heart and be paranoid and defensive and not trusting anybody but at the same time you don't want to give up <laughs> Even though you've been through this whole mess, you know, the Seven of Wands reverse. This is a card about no longer having the strength or the courage to fight back, no longer resisting something, no longer blocking something. Um, it could also be that you're just ready to give up. I just find it fascinating that I keep getting that card. Page of Cups reverse, interesting. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? My cards really wanna to talk today. This is kind of crazy, but. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So, you know, something here is just not working out. I feel like there's something here that, you know, no matter what you do or this other person does, because this is mutual energies, you're both here in this spread. Um, Something just doesn't go your way. A series of unfortunate events have taken place or everything feels so much harder and more difficult than it has to. Queen of Swords. This is someone who is direct, has no problem setting boundaries, guarded. They guard their heart fiercely because they've been through a lot. I feel like because of everything that hasn't worked out, you've become a queen of swords possibly here. Tell me about the seven of wands reverse. Your boundaries are strong. Five of pentacles. You probably even like left someone in the dust or like left someone was left out in the cold. Someone feels abandoned or disconnected. And I feel like it's because of this queen of swords. Maybe you want to talk about what's not working, how you feel in this connection. Three of Cups at the bottom. I swear, I'm going to change my channel name to like Three of Cups channel. <laughs> they always show up. I have Three of Pentacles here too. Um, so I really feel like this is something where um, someone feels left out. There is uh, something to do with like struggle. There's a devil, Capricorn. There you are. I just heard heat 
heat. I don't know what that's about. Heat. It's like really hot or like you feel someone's really hot or there's <laughs> something to do with like a fire. Like 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 you like you literally light up. I'm not sure what that's about. That's for someone just watching this. Anyways. <laughs> so I feel like someone here has been left out. Ooh, it could be that someone was pissed and threw someone out or like blocked someone or like was done with someone is what I'm feeling. That's what I'm picking up here. Something wasn't working and I feel like at least one person suffered because of it. What's the three of pentacles about? Here's the three of pentacles here. Five of wands. Conflict, disagreements, jealousy, the fool. Oh my gosh, the message that I'm getting is so strange. I don't know why I'm seeing this, but this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone who just wants to be alone. There's too many people here in this five of wands. Like there's too many people here fighting, involved, you know, too many people like have their hands in the cookie jar and this person is just like, I just want to do things by myself. Like forget working on this. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. It could also be that this has to do with work. King of pentacles reverse. What says justice reverse Libra energy. Ten of pentacles reverse. Yikes. Someone here could be in a, um, a long term commitment. With the King of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Pentacles reverse, that's not doing very well. Or it could be a family situation that's not very stable. Financial situation that's not very stable because someone's not making the right choices. Wow, okay. I mean, I'm not going to get into that. Um, let me f focus here. Capricorn, I feel like the, for the Capricorn, to the Capricorns that I'm talking to, if this is your reading, because you will know eventually if this is your reading or not, not every video you watch is going to resonate with you or is for you. Um, but I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm talking to, this is something where you are in the middle of a hot mess where there's more than one person involved. Everyone seems to have an opinion. Everyone seems to just be like watching and judging and, and almost like, there's a frustration that I'm picking up here, you know, where someone just would rather just cut their losses and run. Like they don't even want to deal with this. You know, they've put in work and energy and effort and time. They're willing to work on this. So what's all this other BS down here? You know, and I feel like that's where the strong attraction comes in. It's like, logically, you just want to cut this person out or cut out this whole situation. But emotionally, energetically, you still have feelings. Why is this King of Cups? Or someone has a lot of feelings for you and they're genuine feelings for you. And it, it makes you pause. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is he here? Can you tell me about him? Knight of Cups. He can even be apologizing to you. Or just expressing like how they feel very open about their emotions. Tell me about this King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this someone that this person adores you is what I, I just heard adores you. Or you feel this way about this person. Hierophant. I feel like someone here is in a commitment. Or wants to commit to you. Yeah, this could be somebody that wants to ask you out or wants to talk about eventually being committed to you. And I feel like um, maybe you've been together with this person for a long time. And even though it seems like on the surface or like at least deep down, this isn't really working. This person is ready to be like all in or has some sort of pull on you. So let's see, how do you feel about each other? I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here, which you've probably seen before. Um, this is a deck that I created, and you can get it at my shop. It's a printable deck, so you can print it at home. And I'm thinking about making this a physical deck. Well, I can just... 
Okay, tell me about Capricorn's thoughts or feelings in this connection. What are their energies in this connection? Let's see how you feel about each other. Capricorn's thoughts or feelings, please, Spirit. About this other person. Walking away. You see what I'm saying? Departure, moving, journey. Walking away towards a more stable situation. I feel like deep down you're done. Now, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more, okay? Because it could be flipped. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are their thoughts or feelings about this situation? Past life. Past life connection, X memories. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So is it that you're not even together, but you're still thinking about each other or thinking about this? Maybe they have something to apologize for. Maybe you literally like blocked them and we're done with them. You could have walked away from them and they're still, they're still interested. They're still involved. You could have tried to free yourself, but you're not completely free. Is that it? If you're watching and this is resonating, leave me a comment down below and tell me, you know, if that's the case. Okay, let's see. Tell me more about how these two feel about each other's spirit. Capricorn and their person. Tell me about Capricorn's energies, please. The Fool. Yeah, I feel like you walked away towards something new. You freed yourself. Now remember, this could be your person if you flip it. But to avoid confusion, this is you, Capricorn, for me. Tell me more. Oh. The Chariot Reverse. Cancer Energy. Maybe you were delayed from leaving or feeling stuck now. Maybe you felt stuck and wanted to free yourself. Three of coin reverse. Yeah, there could have been a third party here. Something that was interfering in your connection. This is three of coin reverse about. Queen of wands reverse, definitely a third party. This could be that someone was unfaithful to you. Tell me about the cherry reverse. Five of Cups. Yeah. I feel like this this person hurt you, Capricorn. And you made a judgment call. You were just like, screw this. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Justice. They want to restore balance. Ace of coin, but they don't have anything to offer you. Or they can't offer you a commitment. Perhaps they've suffered a loss or broke a commitment. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I'm telling you, they want to restore balance so bad. Tell me about this Ace of coins, Rangers. Yeah, they mess with a commitment. Something that was stable or had potential for stability. Why is temperance here? Seven of Wands reverse again. Ugh. This is going to bother me. <laughs> Just because, like, I feel like Spirit is trying to tell me something every time that I pull that card out. I've used so many decks and I keep hitting that card. And I feel like Spirit is trying to tell me something, trying to capture my attention with that card for a reason. And I feel like maybe I'm not getting the message that they want me to say, or maybe this is just the theme that's very important. Maybe this is something they want me to take a look at. You know what I mean? This is just my inner monologue. <laughs> just ignore me, Capricorn. But this is just, you know, I take this seriously. So I want to make sure that this is some, okay. So I feel like with the two of swords, This person that you were dealing with, they probably didn't make a decision that you wanted them to make. This person probably was trying to avoid a fight. And they suffered a loss. 
So let's see, how are they secretly thinking or feeling about you, Capricorn? I'm going to be using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is my first physical deck, and it's going to be available in my Etsy shop. Link down below in the description box if you're curious. I'm not sure if it's going to be available by the time this video comes out, but you can just check my Etsy shop or the community tab, because that, that's where I'll announce it, or in my Instagram. All right, just guys, how is this person thinking or feeling about Capricorn? I secretly think you're feeling about Capricorn. You matter to me. I love you. My heart belongs to you. That's the King of Cups. This is the King of Cups here. So what do you need to know? What's the 411? Any hidden factors? Anything that we should be paying attention to that we probably haven't really looked at here? What do we need to know for Capricorn? What's the 411? For Capricorn. If this is resonating for you, please leave me a comment. Let me know if it's resonating and how. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. And I love hearing from you. It makes me feel like maybe I'm not, you know, talking to the void here. <laughs> maybe someone actually on the other side of this screen. Okay, for Capricorn. What is the 411? What do we need to know about this connection? Any blocks, hidden factors? What do we need to know here, Spirit, regarding this connection? Three of Pentacles, again, okay? What do we need to know regarding this connection? King of Pentacles upright. What do we need to know regarding that? Four of Swords, no action. Thinking in secret. High Priestess, Six of Cups. Someone's thinking about the past, reflecting on the past. And I feel like they're doing this like in secret. Like this person wants you. Whoever this whoever's doing this thinking and reflecting, like they're thinking about the past and how this could be your person, how to make it better. Um, you know, what offer do I need to make to Capricorn? Maybe there's an, very little communication, perhaps because you blocked this person. <laughs> Or there's a lot of like silence here regarding this. I'm going to do a different deck. Let me clarify these energies. And if you're curious um, on how to interpret the tarot for love, check out my ebook, Love Tarot Made Easy. I go over every single card and I talk about how you can interpret the card for love. So check that out. That's linked down below as well. I'm trying to promote it more because honestly, I'm really bad at it at promoting stuff after a while so all right tell me about the three of pentacles Isis here five of swords reverse there was some sort of um someone wants to overcome a situation that ended badly with the five of swords reverse they might be apologizing for their behavior they could be um trying to have some sort like wave the white flag Maybe telling you, they, hey, I want to work on this. I'm willing to put in the effort this time. This person is appearing to you as a king of pentacles, whether they are or not. When I put this king of pentacles down, I was like, upright. Really? <laughs> are you really upright? Because you weren't before. You know, and so I feel like this person is going to try to appear to be a king of pentacles to you. Um, it could also be this person is still in a commitment as well. Anyway, so let's go back here. Nine of Cups reverse, Three of Wands reverse, Five of Swords reverse. Emperor reverse, yikes, oh my gosh, okay. I feel like this person, hmm, there's some sort of like frustration and patience with the Three of Wands reverse, almost like um, maybe they're not getting the results back that they thought they were going to get. Maybe they've been waiting, maybe you've kept them waiting a long time or vice versa. Um, and it's like they're becoming impatient, frustrated, and that leads to more mistakes. This is someone that doesn't plan very well or misses the boat completely, the three of wands reverse. And I feel like that has affected them getting a wish granted. And now they're like, they're really like upset because the, the Empress is sitting pretty right here. And the Emperor reverse is just kind of like, they're not on the same level. They're not even on the same page, these two. Could be dealing with an Aries. 
Why is the King of Pentacles? So what I'm seeing here, you know, so far, what you need to know is that someone is not doing well with the situation and the way that it's, like, the fact that it's not going their way. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles here? What do we need to know? The Empress. I'm telling you, this Empress is, they know their value. They can grow and manifest. That's why I'm seeing two, two people here. The Empress is definitely somebody that can make things happen. They have everything they need. They don't need anybody else. Six of Cups. You know, it's like this King of, of Pentacles. And again, with the Six of Cups here, you know, this is the pa past life, past life, and ex, I mean, you know, Six of Cups. This could be an ex of yours that really wants to manifest and can't, you know. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. I feel like there's some sort of burden that this person is either carrying. Um, there's unhappiness here. What's behind that? The world. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that needs to let go of a burden in order to have a new cycle here. I'm also picking up... Um, It's like this burden is a secret. Like they're not like they're not appearing to be as sad as they really are. The world and four of wands. Someone here, I feel either they want commitment with you or they're already in a commitment, Capricorn. Maybe you figured that out. Why is the four of swords here? It's very rare for the King of Pentacles not to make something happen. They usually get everything done that they set out to do because they're good planners, they're focused on the details, they take their time. And they're not lazy. So I feel like this is someone that's appearing to be a King of Pentacles, but is it really? Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. Why is the Four of Swords here? The devil reverse, there you are, Capricorn. Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Four of Wands again. Ten of Cups at the bottom. You know what I just heard? Someone's dreaming about this. Like they're, they're this is a dream. I heard dream, dream. Yeah, this is a dream. Two of Cups right after this, reverse right after this Ten of Cups. This is what someone wants. They want Ten of Cups with you, but that's not the reality of the situation. There's a disconnect here. There could even be that someone has a family, because I have the Four of Wands that could be married. But deep down, this is not a commitment that's going anywhere. It's not a happy commitment. This could be something that you you, you could be married to this person, but deep down, this isn't a good connection. Something like that. There's a resistance here with the death card. This person is trying to figure out how this cannot, like how they can prolong this. Um, you know, it's like, I, I really want four of wands or I, I need to break free of the four of wands, but I don't want anything to change. So it's like, you can't have it both ways. Why is the four of wands here? This is throwing me off here. This four of wands keeps showing up. Why is the four of wands here? Yeah, there's some sort of deception here with this Four of Wands. Why is the Death card reverse? Eight of Wands. Eight of Coin reverse. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing something that should end, but someone wants to keep going. This isn't working. There's no effort being put in here to really end or change. 